In this video, we'll take a look at doing more advanced tokenization with regex. One new regex pattern that you'll find useful for advanced tokenization is the ability to use the OR method. In regex, OR is represented by the pipe character. To use the OR, you can define a group using parentheses. Groups can be either a pattern or a set of characters that you want to match. You can also define explicit character ranges using square brackets. We'll go into a bit more depth on groups and ranges soon. Let's take an example that we want to tokenize using regular expressions, and we want to find all digits and words. We define our pattern using a group with the OR symbol, and we make them greedy so they catch the full word or digits. Then we can call find all using Python's RE library and return our tokens. Notice that our pattern does not match punctuation, but properly matches the words and digits. Let's take a look at another more advanced topic, defining groups and character ranges. Here we have another chart of patterns, and this time we're using the ranges or character classes marked by the square brackets and groups marked by the parentheses. We can see in this chart that we can use square brackets to define a new character class. For example, we can match all upper and lowercase English letters using uppercase A hyphen uppercase Z, which will match all uppercase letters, and then lowercase a hyphen lowercase z, which will match all lowercase letters. We can also make ranges to match all digits, 0 hyphen 9, or perhaps a more complex range, like uppercase and lowercase English, with the hyphen n period. Because the hyphen and period are special characters in regex, we must tell regex that we mean an actual period or hyphen. To do so, we use what is called an escape character. In regex, that means to place a backward slash in front of our character so it knows then to look for a hyphen or a period. On the other hand, with groups which are designated by the parentheses, we can only match what we explicitly define in the group. So A hyphen Z match only A, a hyphen, and Z. Groups are useful when you want to find an explicit set of characters such as the final example, where we are taking spaces or commas. In this code example, we use match with a character range to match all lowercase ASCII, any digits, and spaces. It is greedy, marked by the plus after the range definition, but once it hits the comma, it can't match anymore. This short example demonstrates that thinking about what regex method you use, such as search versus match, and whether you define a group or a range can have a large impact on the usefulness and readability of your patterns. Now it's your turn to practice advanced regex techniques to help with tokenization.